everyone. Um, I have a spe- special <laughs> message um, that I've been meaning to get out for a really long time. Um, but it's really it's really challenging for me um, because it requires me to use my gifts. So, speaking of gifts, I have a gift for you today. Whoever's watching this, whoever is resonating for this, resonating with this. Um, <laughs> Today is August 13th, and today is Danny Brown's birthday, and um, he is very, very, very persistent, and he has been coming to me for a couple months now um, with a message that he just wants to get through um, to people that um, he knows and that I personally know as well. Um, He does have other messages for people that, like, I can see the image he's showing me but I don't know who they are um so anyway I just kind of wanted to come on here and share some messages because he's (laughs) okay so this is what I keep getting um this is what I keep seeing and um you'll know if this resonates for you but um I'm seeing him place his right hand on my left shoulder um (laughs) I'm sorry his energy makes me very laughy Um, So that might resonate for you as well. But um, (laughs) I'm seeing him put his hand on my shoulder and he's just looking at me very like, um, I don't know, very like, it's his very serious face. He's very like, (laughs) you know, when he's having a serious conversation with you, for for most of you, you've, you've, um, you're recalling memories from, from him he's trying to reach you and so this will resonate for you but he's looking at you very like seriously like you're having a very a serious conversation um but he's he's very gentle his spirit that's another thing is um his it's funny because a lot of men are incarnated on the earth right now that are in really like smaller framed bodies they're like just average sized bodies they're not like huge and muscular and like i don't know just like big this idea that we have um but they have they they're housing very very large spirits and I love it because Danny's spirit his spirit is so big and I'm still seeing his spirit now like um for me it's like (laughs) his energy um is always with me Um, not always sometimes he'll come to me like I said he's been coming to me and it's once I get the message out and then then this the spirit will like allow me to have a break or will like but like he's been very persistent and so and I've just had a lot of fear of doing it and um but he has, he just has so many messages. Um, I am going to name drop because <laughs> these names are, um, I'm seeing faces and I'm seeing like, um, these are people that, um, he's trying to reach. I'm also seeing, um, he's telling me, yeah, so you might be feeling, uh, his hand on your shoulder. Um, I'm also feeling his, um, his, uh, <laughs> his embrace. It's like, feeling his hug or being hugged by him I'm seeing someone feeling hugged by him um like he he's wrapping his energy around you um it's like a very like it's like this warm tingling embrace that you're feeling and that energy is him like if you needed confirmation that that was him that was him and I'm seeing his energy is very like it's huge it's like very big like (laughs) like he's a very big very big energy and if you think about when he was incarnated into his physical body he just had a lot of energy he had a lot of passion it makes so much sense that he's a leo um especially because it deals with the heart but the heart the heart and having a huge heart and um uh one thing about him is that he just had a huge heart so there's so many people there's so many men especially that um he impacted that he he calls them his brothers and so um this is like classmates so (laughs) like these okay these are random names that i'm hearing um, and I'm seeing their home. So one of the very first, um, and this message has been coming for me, to me for months. Um, uh, so if you know any of these people or if you're able, cause I'm just going to post this. And if you want to share this, um, message so that it reaches the people that it needs to reach, then please, please do that. Um, but I'm <laughs> right away in my, um, I'm picking up on Devin Keenan. I'm seeing his house and just him, like, uh, uh, Danny is reaching him. Um, trying to like sending him messages I don't know if he's aware of these messages that he's receiving but um and I'm also seeing his um Devin Keenan's father so what what I'm picking up on and what Danny wants to just share with you guys um is that your your um your you whoever this reaches you and um your family members 
made him feel loved um, in, uh, in a way that he didn't get to, like, necessarily receive love. And so um, I'm picking up on, like, just uh, these friends that he made. They were also, like, his family. And so um, he spent a lot of time at their homes. And he didn't just connect with, with his friends. You know, he connected with the friends' parents. That was really special about Danny is that he was ba- able to... Um, he's very open-minded. He's very open-minded, and so he was, because he, he has a big heart, so he's able to listen. That was one of his best qualities, and that's what I'm getting with the hand on the shoulder. Um, is people are just needing somebody, like especially men. Men um, are needing somebody to listen to, and that's what I'm getting. Danny was just that, that person that, um, for most men, that you'll know if this reached you, but you could have a conversation with him. It felt like he could see you. That's what I'm seeing. It's like, oh, and that's another message he had. Um, I'm not here, but I still see you. He, he wants you to know that I still see you. I still see <laughs> I still see you, he says. Um, I'm not here, but I still see you. He, that's a very repetitive message. Um, but yeah, so these families, like, um, yeah, so Devin Keenan, like, there's mess- <laughs> messages for him. Like, he's receiving messages. I don't know if it's through music, um, but I'm picking up on he's just a... Uh, you were the first person to make him feel welcome, especially in our school. I'm seeing our lunchroom. Like, he has so many memories from our lunchroom. Um, but, yeah, that was his, um, he felt like he was hugged. I'm seeing um, Devin hugging Danny. Uh, <laughs> Danny felt a really deep connection to him. Um, he was the first person, like I said, to make him feel, like, welcome into our space, into our school, because he felt very, like... Um, like he just, you know, he moved from around and he just, it was, it was challenging for him. And what I love about him is that he was so, um, what I'm saying, he's an individualist. And so <laughs> he was able to stay true to who he was and, um, to stand out of the crowd. And there was like, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just seeing like, he was just, he just, he was very, um, sh- he had a very strong personality. And so, yeah. That's one message I'm receiving there. So however he's reaching you, um, I'm not getting anything specific on how he's reaching you. I just, maybe it's that hug. Maybe it's that um, warm embrace that, that you're feeling maybe um, is coming from him. Um, but what I'm also getting is to create a, um, a meditation practice. And, and meditation is so different, especially, um, Danny wants me to mention this, for men, it's so different. Oh, I'm seeing music. Um, there's so many men that are like uh, called to music right now as a way to meditate. Uh, but they're, they're not realizing it's for to meditate, but it's, it's a way to relax them. It's a way for them to express their creativity, especially because men are very creative. But they aren't really taught how to uh, use this as an outlet. And so there's a lot of fear around um, using the voice. I'm seeing the throat chakra, like a speaking, like maybe even singing um, or even just speaking, like speaking your beliefs is what I'm hearing is like standing up for your beliefs, telling the truth. Um, he's with you right now to help you tell the truth. Um, this could resonate for anyone. Um, but I'm also picking up on, <laughs> I'm seeing Kyle Cassidy Westcott's basement. Um, so I'm just picking up on a lot of memories there and like, I'm seeing like, I know this is bizarre, but like guitar picks, um, are a message for somebody. Um, they're seeing them or they're, they're somehow receiving them, but they're seeing him but those are messages from him. Um, but I'm also just getting through music. Uh, uh, there are certain songs that I, that, that you guys are hearing, um, that bring back memories of him. And this is him trying to communicate with you. It's him trying to like, um, remind you of him to remind you of special moments shared together to, to call you back to your heart. Um, in times, okay. So you might hear what I'm seeing. Um, I'm he- I'm seeing that you're hearing lyrics in your mind. Um, Maybe they just pop up randomly, but these are actually messages from him. They're like a message. Maybe you're contemplating. I'm seeing somebody very like worried or over contemplating or trying to think about what they're supposed to do. Um, And they're asking for questions like they're praying. And um, Danny is helping you to receive messages through through music um, because he was he was a musician. And so he's feeling very called. And excuse me if my eyes are closed, but uh, he's just showing me pictures and like showing me visions. And so it's important for me to to keep aware of that and to hold that space in my heart. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting music lyrics that are just very important. And, and this is going to vary for each different person because like I was saying, um, he's, he was very diverse. And so there's going to be different messages that are going to resonate for different people. But, um, also just Kyle Cassidy Westcott, his parents, like it was just that, that environment. Um, but also I'm picking up on, 
um, this is really random and bizarre because I don't really like know, but I'm seeing Mitch Mythaller and his mother. I'm seeing his mother, um, as a way, like he just felt very welcomed and, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just seeing her. So that, that's a message too. <laughs> just very random people. Um, Andy Port and his mother, um, Barb. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting lots of like happy memories from that. I don't know. Like I'm seeing his house and I'm seeing his mom it was another um, person that made him feel very welcome and um, that, you know, you guys shared a special bond and like one, you know, felt like his, uh, his family it was just, um, he was able to be himself. I'm getting in this environment, um, very playful, very like goofy, very, very vulnerable and open. Um, and that's something that he really appreciated. <laughs> he felt really seen. Um, and he, he felt very accepted. Um, and um, another family that I'm picking up on is the Andersons, of course. Um, I'm seeing, and I relate to this one too, because um, I'm seeing uh, his, uh, or their family dinner table. Um, and so that was a very, like, and his parents, um, Laura and Scott Anderson, that made him feel very, like, um, like the, his family, they were his family. Um, and so, <laughs> and he's able to, um, yeah, he's just showing me these, but he's just like, um, he's with all of you, all the people that he's touched all like, um, I remember like Haley Hart and Sierra Chapel. We experienced like a camping trip with him and like, he's just sending you messages. He's, he's with you always. Um, I'm getting that sometimes. Oh, and actually I've seen him. He wanted me to share this. Somebody saw his truck and I don't mean like his personal truck, but I mean a truck that looked like his. Um, and instantly this, you know, they, whoever saw this definitely thought of him and this was a sign. This was a message from him. <clears throat> but he also just remi wants to remind people because he came to remind me of this. There's people that are feeling very isolated, that are feeling very alone, that are feeling misunderstood. Um, and he wants you to know that he's with you. Um, one of my favorite things is being able to, uh, for me to be able to like commune with him and, and interact with his energy. Um, it brings back like, uh, it's like nostalgia, but it's like happy memories. And so his energy makes me laugh a lot, a, a lot, actually. Um, his energy was very vibrant, very uplifting, but also very soothing and very gentle. He just, like I said, had a huge heart. And so, like I'm saying, people are wanting this. Like, they're missing that connection that they found with him. Like, okay, so there, I'm seeing a lot of men that he was friends with that, that are wanting a friend like him again. And he's saying, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. You can talk to me. That's what he's saying. He's saying, talk to me. Talk to me like I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just seeing like uh, someone in, in despair. Um, like, yeah, like just feeling very, very alone. And um, that's why he's here. But he's reaching you from spirit. And what I'm saying and what he's showing me is that he's like, he, okay, so he's more alive now than he ever was in his, in his physical body is what I, is what I'm seeing kind of is like, um, this was his destiny. It was, he was supposed to be gone now because he couldn't reach everybody when he was still in his physical body. He had to be, he needed to be in spirit. Like I said, his spirit is huge. So his spirit is able to reach so many different people. Um, he's guiding people. He's your guide. If you feel him, if you felt drawn to him, if you felt him in your heart, if you were connected to him and he felt like a brother to you, if he felt like somebody you loved, he is guiding you right now. And he wants you to know that. And that is so important that you can rely on him. If you need comfort, um, if things aren't making sense, like to, to, and all you have to do to be able to, um, interact with his energy is to just, like I said, you could use music. So that's why he's saying for a lot of people to meditate, to, to pick up like maybe guitar or to, to listen to music more and not just like listening to it in your car, but to like, Maybe go for a walk and be alone and listen to this music um, as a way to feel his spirit. It's not even just about hearing him. I'm just very clear audience and like I can sense his energy. But it's also just like that feeling that you had when you were with him to um, to recall the feeling you had when you were with him. Because that's what's most important. That's how we relate to people even when they're gone is through feeling. Um, 
so it's just about like feeling his energy and creating that space so like um, even creating a quiet space where um, you can even just sit and focus on you just close your eyes and focus on him like you can imagine his face and this just helps him to bring his energy to you if you needed comforting or if you need a friend or maybe even writing I'm seeing writing like you can write to him like write him a letter um, as a way to help you get your feelings out is what I'm hearing because like I said there's people that want somebody to talk to or they're, they're wanting that connection that they felt with him um, from other men you know they're, they're wanting friendships like this like like vulnerable like heartfelt connections where you can have deep conversation um, where you can talk about like because that's what that's who Danny was he was a deep person <laughs> it's one of my favorite things about him um, and uh, yeah so that's what I'm getting is to take that time to take that space to really um, connect with him and to remember that he is he's not gone um and like i said he feels more alive now and he's grown so much like since since like passing over he's been able to grow so much and um yeah so anyway i think that's all that i have coming through but he just yeah he just wants to you, you know remind you that like he's still here like i said um like, I see you. That's what he wants you to, like, and there's so many people that, like, there's so many, so many people I don't feel seen. That's what I'm getting. And he's like, no, I see you. I see you. I see the work you're doing. Um, I, I just, I see you. That's all I keep hearing. And so, um, I hope that maybe that resonated for you. I hope this was helpful and happy birthday to Danny. Um, what a great day. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you have, like, if you want to comment or if you want to share to, be able to maybe like help people reach this um there are a lot of other people that come to my mind like um i'm seeing like sierra chapel and jordan scriber i'm really just seeing like um literally like our just our school and like there's just like different homes i'm also seeing his home growing like his uh where his parents live i don't know if they still live there but i'm seeing that that home as well um so yeah there's a lot of people that made him feel at home um that made him feel loved, that made him feel, feel seen, you know, and so he wants you to know that you are seen too, that the things that, the conversations you had, the times you spent together, those went with him forever, they're still with him now, and he's able to draw on those memories, so it's important you can sit in those times and, and think about happy memories, and it also might evoke sad memories, because you might miss him, right, but, um, it's about releasing those emotional attachments, so allowing yourself to feel the emotions as they arise, because sometimes I would, at first, when his energy first began to come to me, I would feel very overwhelmed with emotion. Like, I wanted to cry because I would think about him and um, I was attached to him, like, still being here. But now, like, for me, it's just like I'm here and I'm there with them, with him too, with them. There's, you know, like, um, so, um, yes, this is just something I wanted to share. I wanted to be able to use my gift to be able to maybe help other people, like, um, feel seen or feel heard or feel loved or to maybe like if you are receiving signs or um that maybe this is just confirmation so yeah there's music lyrics there's there's just different songs um there's different things everything will resonate for you and you'll know that's what i'm saying is he'll he he's telling me that you'll know like when a message comes from him if you if you become more aware and if you're allowing it like if you're inviting his energy into your space um, and then you receive a message you'll know he says you'll know you'll know the message you'll know the sign um you won't have to second guess so Anyway, I hope this was helpful in some way. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you can maybe like celebrate him or remember him today. And I'm sending so much love.